Liam, ended with a 2-0 win. You must be delighted to keep a clean sheet but record the three points as well. Um, your thoughts on the game? I, I thought it was a really tricky fixture. You know, they're coming in on the, on the back of a bad run. They've been beat 5 0 uh, on Tuesday night. What you do see, you see teams who've had a bad, bad defeat. Very rarely did he get another one straight away afterwards. There's always a little bit of coming together, a bit, a bit compact. Uh, made it hard for us. We never played great, never moved the ball quick enough. I think the club started okay for the first 20 minutes and then we didn't get the goal and then if we stop start, they, they had two players go off injured, we've lost Dean, the game never got flowing. Uh, probably took about the second, I thought we started off okay in, in the second half but we, we needed a little bit of presence which Paddy yes, gave us yeah, up front yeah, alongside yeah, Raoul. Yeah. Obviously Zen's got a great header from the set piece and then you know, Raoul deservedly he's got a penalty for us. Was it an important victory psychologically because the team stayed in the game, not necessarily stayed in the game, but they didn't, they didn't crack and they kept, kept playing the game, kept progressing and eventually that resulted in, in, in us getting the goal through Zen. Is that important? Well, it's the nervousness, isn't it? That, that all of a sudden the nervousness comes around the pitch, which you don't have when you're playing one of the top sides because everyone's up and up for it. Uh, I'm not saying the players aren't up for it, but it, it's, it's sometimes really difficult when teams are going to come in and sit deep and I'm going to... To be fair, the two centre halves won a lot of headers for them. Um, you know, did we waste a little bit of ball? We certainly wasted a lot of delivery from set plays in the first half. I thought that everything was over hit. Uh, we got one right and we scored a goal off it, uh, which is you know, but someone offered me 2 0 before the start of the game and I'll snap your hands off. Probably two headlines before kick off. George Newell, he signed on Monday. Um, would like your thoughts on him and, and why he wasn't involved today. And, and secondly, you, you made a change in goal in the, the debut for Charlie Albans. Uh, George has obviously signed up by Friday, Friday afternoon as his clearance wasn't through. It, it did come through before the game, so I could have actually put him in the squad. Uh, he probably needs a week's training. We've organised friendly for Tuesday. And I thought that was the, the best way to go, the right thing to do for George. Um, obviously, Samo was missing, it was a big loss. So we've got two forwards to come into the mix, but as I said, that, that was that one. Uh, Charlie, uh, I don't think Dan has looked himself the last couple of weeks. He's got a bit of flu, bit of virus, whatever. And I just thought it was time to give Charlie a go. He's the only one in the squad who hasn't had a game. We do believe he's going to be a very, very good keeper. Uh, he looked very solid all afternoon. Made the right, done the right things. His kicking was good. Came for stuff. So that's uh, my thoughts on that. Eleven games now in the league. Um, all, all league matches so far. Next week it's Scarborough Athletic in the FA Cup. Your thoughts on the importance of the FA Cup this season, but also the opposition. Well, the opposition that they'll have as much due diligence done on them as uh, as any league team. Uh, I know a lot of the players. That, Michael Coulson, remember, made, I think he made his debut against Southport, didn't he? Back all the way back in 2005 6 season. Uh, James Walsh has always been a really good goal scorer. Jordan DC played for me at Telford, talented player. His dad's the manager. Uh, you know, don't know how they've got on today. I think they were away at now, which we had someone there watching the game, so we've got a full report on them. Uh, won't be easy. No games are ever easy in the FA Cup. I understand the importance with three ways. A is a fan. Be as a manager and, and, and see being part of the board, the finances are huge, the, the, the run for the fans is huge and for, for me I'm, you're just desperate as a manager to get into the next round of the next round of the cup. I've been lucky, the FA Cup's been really good to me over a number of years, I've had some really, some really good FA Cup runs with Southport and Runcorn and, you know, and Telford uh, and Staley Bridge, strangely enough, I said, but you know, them days are good. You get, Likes of us, we should be looking always aiming for the first round minimum, and that'll be the target this year. The season's six weeks old, and um, it feels like a long <laughs> six weeks given the amount of games we've played. But with a with a break now in the league and, and going into the FA Cup, you, you're sort of summary on the season so far. I think we're five points off where we should be, and that, I, I don't mean that in. A, I think we, we we should have had three against Self, and we should have had an extra two against Cares, but you know that is. Isn't to be. The other results have probably panned out, probably whereabouts they, they should be. Uh, two points off the players after 11 games, would you have took it? It's like our season really got going in December last year. Might have just got going in the middle of September. So it's got going now. We're in a good place. Thank you very much, Liv.